calls in his game. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! <laughs> This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting at a Paranagua Parada, Brazil, John has a stone And now it is his opponent. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grant the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners. I am fight. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go ready? down right now. And we are underway. Well, protect your chin. Get the guard up because John Hands of Stone Vinegar is coming. Most people believe this is the biggest power threat that we have at 135 pounds. And he's not wasting any time in there. Lineker will get after it right out of the shoot. All right, so here we go with round one. And you got to be mindful of those overhand punches if you're his opponent. You know it's a big part of his game plan. Every time out, it's his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it here tonight. Lineker's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, we got tagged. Well, he got his head snapped back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Right now, he's just leaning right into his opponent's range. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Nice kick to the body. Just over three minutes to go now. Gets the elbow up into the target. Back to his feet again, amazing. Under three minutes now to go in round one. He landed that punch flush. Lineker going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Tags him. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Lee. 
Joe, nice head movement there. Slip that right hand. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? These guys are swinging. Wow. So Joe, yet again, he moves right into that straight punch, and these are really starting to add up. He's gonna have to figure some things out defensively, lean on the corner a little bit, but ultimately just move that upper body and move those feet, get that head off the center line. Pretty good jab there by Lee. Lineker gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those, Joe. Head kick. Lineker gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Effective punch there by Lineker. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Lands a strike there. Unable to connect with the right hand. Misses with the straight leg. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Kick lands for him there. Huge block there. 20 seconds left. Nice jab. Lineker's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Another glancing left hand there for Lineker. Effective jab there by Lineker. Push kick there to the body. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. What a clinic. Multiple knockdowns there. Huge five minutes turned in there from Lee. A huge round. His opponent was in deep, deep water, but through conditioning and willpower, managed to make it out alive. And here we see some excellent striking, great power on that punch. Deep breath for me. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen. Jenny Andrade to get us going. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? All right, round two. Good defense there. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh! He got tagged there. Oh! Back and forth we go. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. Hand speed, man. That's, oh, a hard that's a hook. big hook to the chin. Big left. Oh, man. You can tell that shot hurt him bad in the body. Misses a huge hook to the head. Very nice. 
able to check that kick as well. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll oh, as this fight goes up. That one hurt him badly. Oh, he might be out. Left kick to the body. You know Lenneker can hang in the pocket and throw bombs, especially if he, if he doesn't feel what's coming back the other way. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. And he lands a huge knee. knee. And now starting to snap off that jab. Big left hand. Oh, head kick! Just over two minutes to go. He's got a clinch. Lineker's worked in that underhook once again. Nice punch in the clinch. Lee's got the double underhooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. Lineker's able to attain the underhook here. Nice job to pummel. Now let's see what he can do with it. He's got the double. Lineker's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Huge uppercut misses. And here's the hard body shots of Lineker. Nice knee to the body. Under a minute to go. Oh! Oh! Punch coming, it's blocked. Big hook to the head. Good punch. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh! Oh! He's out! Perfectly placed spinning back fist for the win. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Check it out again. Boom. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergley out there has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.